Hello everyone, bringing you a video today talking about entrenching tools or properly entrenching implements. And we're going to basically have a look at a bit of a timeline today uh, running through from this, which is an early example of an uh, infantry carried entrenching tool. We're not talking about shovels and picks here specifically, but we're talking about tools designed or implements designed to be carried on the web equipment by soldiers uh, for their immediate use in the field. So the timeline is going to run from, from this, which is 1882, through until the 1908 pattern. And then there'll probably be a follow-up video carrying on the story from there. Now, this, as I say, is 1882. This is the 1882 pattern, or Wallace Patent Entrenching Implement. It is a, a combined small shovel, and then the handle here is actually intended to be used as a pick. So you have a, a point there, and then a broader blade worked on at the end there, obviously, a metal, she metal sheathing around the wooden handle of the tool. So this is an early, uh, an early attempt to create a tool which would be carried by infantrymen. Initially, uh, this was just to be carried on the belt using a, a two leather loops. But later on, a, a more purpose-designed carrier was introduced, which uh, combined with the bayonet frog to carry both down below the belt on the hip. So from that point of view, it's something of a pioneer. Uh, the need for infantrymen to dig in, of course, developed during the latter part of the Victorian era rapid fire artillery and obviously breech loading rapid fire rifles the need for an infantryman to dig in uh, in sh short notice and regularly became more pressing obviously entrenching and siege warfare and so forth had existed for time immemorial uh, but obviously picks and shovels could be brought up for that sort of thing the infantryman requiring a tool in the field ready and to hand to create a small earthwork to provide to protect themselves a slit trench or something similar uh, really prompted the introduction of this and i say this is the 1882 pattern we'll have a look at this I'll just turn it around so you can have a look at it in more detail obviously you can see it's a quite a small if we compare it to the size of my hand there quite a small uh, blade on the shovel not that much larger than the the matic head on the, the pick matic the two-part 1908 pattern entrenching tool it isn't much larger than that or indeed the, the 1939 pattern entrenching tool uh, secured to the the handle here with two rivets you can see there do have this strengthening piece to the rear here with rivets uh, connecting that to the, the head there so it's two pieces you've got the back uh, brace there and then the, the metal head itself and then you can see that, that these uh, sections here are actually knurled to give you some grip when you're putting your foot on there to dig we then have the the metal sheathing around the handle here to make the pick head at this end which is secured here with a metal ring which passes around the the wooden handle as you can see there and then this is riveted in place as well you can see the rivets here around on the head there so quite an innovative design this particular example is marked here on the head you can see that here and we'll get a close-up of this now this is manufactured by edward lucas and son of sheffield and there is a further marking beneath this but unfortunately it's not particularly clear I believe it's cnm uh, underneath there as well but no doesn't appear to be any date of manufacture on this however Although this item, it's no longer actually attached to this item, it's become detached over the years. There is actually a sealed pattern label which goes with this item, and we have this here, and we'll have a look at this now uh, in close-up. It does not particularly useful, unfortunately, in the information it provides. You can see that this is marked Implement Entrenching Light Infantry Mark 1, and then you do have a date there of 82. I think it's the 2nd of the 5th, uh, 1882, at the bottom there. 82 would be 1882 in this context. And then you can see to the rear the seal as well, on the back there. So there we are, that was a look at this entrenching tool. We'll move on now to have a look at the 1892 pattern. So moving on, what we have here is the 1892 pattern. Now this is quite simply a small shovel designed to be carried on the equipment. You can see it has a, a buff leather carrier here. You can see it has two belt loops here. So it's designed to be carried up on the belt this way. You can see the construction of that there, this section stitched in here, the two belt loops stitched onto that, and then it is secured with a buckle around the handle here, which would hold this up against the belt. And then you have a, a buckled section over here, allowing the head to be removed from the carrier. And I will unbuckle this now, remove the, the implement, and we can have a look at it in a little bit more detail. Just be quite delicate with this. There we go. Though old buff leather is still, still pretty tough. It's a tight fit in the buckle there. There we go. So there we are. And this just slides out of there. So I'll put that to one side. The shovel itself can be seen here. Um, this is actually dated 1893. 
we'll have a look the the marking for that is on the the handle here so we'll have a look at that in just a moment we'll get a close-up of that but you can see the design of this the pointed blade there uh, it is just a small shovel uh, the handle here is secured by a wooden peg through the middle there it's a little bit loose unfortunately but uh, square square shaped handle as well and this again you have the the head riveted in place here and then the rear section is a separate piece riveted in place to uh, secure and strengthen the the fitting of the head to the handle there as you can see as i say it is marked on the the handle here and there is actually a, a war department stamp of the wood here as well i'll we'll have a look at both of these in in close up now and you can see the marking on the handle this is manufactured by aw wills and son dated 1893 and then the marking on the wood is a war department stamp with the broad arrow and 47 underneath so it's the war department inspection stamp there on the wood as you can see so this as i say is the 1892 pattern so we're sort of coming to the end of the victorian era with this one and we'll move on to have a look at the 1908 pattern next which most people will be familiar with uh, due, due to it being used right the way through into the, the well, to the demise of 1937 pattern essentially was used right the way through in slightly modified form we'll move on now to have a look at that so the last thing we're going to talk about in this video is the 1908 pattern now this of course would go on to be repatterned as 1937 pattern used during the second world war as well uh, that's something for the next part this uh, this helve here is just a, an example of the mark one helve for this pattern of entrenching tool uh, not particularly not particularly uh, remarkable example just a purpose of the illustration here it, it shows uh, how this how this operates so you have a separate helve and a separate head this particular example is not dated unfortunately but it, it serves a purpose of illustration here uh, it's made of hickory and has a metal head on the end here for the head of the entrenching tool to fit onto so this forms a pick mattock so you have a pick and a mattock head and this particular example is dated 1915 there's a nice clear stamp on the the blade here it's made by lucas and it's dated 1915 this particular example so it's quite nice relatively early uh, great war example of this we'll get a close-up of this marking now and as you can see uh, manufactured by lucas limited and then you have the uh, date there of 1915 the manufacturing date pretty standard stuff most people will probably be familiar with these um, there's some further information on these available on khaki web which runs over small design changes and so forth which if you're interested in learning more about them it's worth going and having a look at i'll pop a link to that down down below in the in a, a pinned comment should you wish to go and have a, a read of that obviously these operate by well they, they function by simply slotting onto the handle like that so very very simple we also have to look at here a sealed pattern example of the head now this particular example is dated 1917 on the the blade itself uh, 1918 excuse me well that's up in the top corner here and we'll have a look at that now you can see this is manufactured by ch ellington and again the date there of 1918 now this is particularly interesting because it is a sealed pattern example and always like to look at those and you can see here tool entrenching mark one heads on the label there and then on the back you have dates running as late as 1966 so a 1918 dated head still being used as a standard pattern as late as 1966 because it hadn't changed uh, so there we are that's uh, the final thing we're going to look at in this little part of the timeline we'll move on next to talk about the 1939 pattern and some other entrenched tool designs going on from there i hope you found this interesting as i always say if you have and you'd like to see more from the channel please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed please do make sure you hit the little notification button down below the little bell that will of course alert you when i upload future videos if you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel you can both patreon and paypal are linked down below and as ever a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods it's greatly appreciated as i always say thank you all very much indeed if you'd like to follow the channel on social media you can facebook instagram and twitter are all linked down below and if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media there is of course an email address down there as well that's everything for this video so until next time bye for now